Hi guys, welcome back to Big John TV. It's time for another What's Cooking Wednesday. It's after Christmas and it seems like everybody who didn't have an Instant Pot last year got one for Christmas this year. And I don't blame them, they're awesome. I love my Instant Pot. And so today I'm gonna show you another Instant Pot recipe. I know I've got a couple out there already, but they're so awesome. I just can't help sharing more Instant Pot recipes. This one, we're gonna make almost a complete meal in our Instant Pot, which is a bit different than some of the other ones where it's just a single component of your meal. This one, we're going to use some accessories, but they're simple ones that you have around the house. The rack that came with your Instant Pot and an eight inch cake pan. Pretty much things that everybody has around the house. You don't have to buy anything special. We're going to do meatloaf and mashed potatoes in our Instant Pot all at once. So awesome. So let's get going. I'll show you how to put this together. All right, we're going to start with the potatoes. This is about a pound and a half of baby potatoes. I've got a mix of I've got a mix of red and white and yellow potatoes. Uh, you don't have to use baby potatoes. These could be regular. You would just need to quarter them instead of have them. These go straight into the bottom of your instant pot. You want to kind of Spread them around so they're a nice even layer. And pour on top of those one cup of chicken stock. And that is it for the prep of our mashed potatoes. Super easy. All right, let's move on to the meat. I've got a mix here. I've got one pound of ground beef. This is a lean 85% ground beef and one pound of Italian sausage. This is mild. If you like it a little spicier, go for the hot, but we're gonna keep it mild and kid-friendly. This we're gonna add one third of a cup grated Parmesan cheese, one cup of ground pork rinds. I'm trying to keep this a little bit keto. You can substitute breadcrumbs if you prefer. Next, we've got two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how you say that. There was a big debate on one of our videos, and I still don't think I have a full answer of exactly how it's pronounced. Worcestershire. Quarter cup of ketchup. Half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using a Sweet Baby Ray's. Teaspoon of each of salt and pepper and two eggs lightly whisked. And last, I'm gonna grate a little onion in here. I prefer to grate it rather than dice or chop it because it kind of disappears in the meatloaf and picky eaters don't notice it. I used about half of that median onion, so it was about a quarter cup maybe. You can use more or less to your preference. Now let's start mixing. It looks like the pork and the beef is really well mixed together. All of our ingredients are incorporated. We can put this in our pan. All right. I'm gonna kind of form this into a nice ball. Make sure there's no big air pockets in it. It's like a giant meatball at this point. right in the center of our pan. Pat it down till it's all the same thickness. All right, that looks good. Let me go wash up and we'll finish this off. All right, now we're gonna take the little rack that came with your Instant Pot. Yours may look a little bit different than mine. I do know there are a couple different versions. Pop it on there. This goes right in. Give it a little twist, settle it down in there. 
Might need to move a couple potatoes that aren't sitting quite right. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Perfect. All right, lid goes on. Click to lock it. All right, we're gonna set it to pressure cook. We're on high pressure. We're gonna change our time to 25 minutes. There it goes. Before we walk away, we do wanna make sure that our vent is turned from venting onto sealing or we will never build up pressure. All right, be back in 25 minutes. All right, time's almost up on my meatloaf, so I'm gonna make a little glaze for the top. I've gotten here about a quarter cup of barbecue sauce, a tablespoon of ketchup. I'm gonna add just a little bit of chili sauce. It'll come out. There we go. Just about a tablespoon of chili sauce. And just a small squirt of mustard. Mix this up. I'm going to add just a little squirt of honey. And our meatloaf is done. All right, we're going to quick release this. All right, we can open this up now. Gonna pour off some of the grease. Sorry, you guys are all steamy, I just realized. Oh, sorry about that, you guys got a little steamy. So this is out of the Instant Pot. I'm gonna slide it off our trivet. I'm gonna brush a little of the glaze on top. All right, check it out. We're gonna throw this under the broiler just to kind of crisp up the edges while we finish up the potatoes. All right, to our potatoes we're gonna add, this is half a stick of butter and two ounces of cream cheese. I was softening the butter and it got a little too soft, but that's fine. It'll just incorporate that much easier. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of milk. And one cup, this is a mix of Asiago and Parmesan cheese. And then we just start mashing. Just make sure everything is incorporated in here. And these look delicious. They are very creamy and cheesy and I cannot wait to eat them. They're a little bit rustic with the skins left in them, but I am okay with that. It was one less step for me while cooking. All right, the meatloaf is out of the oven. We just gave it a little bit of a crispiness to the edge. So let's get this cut up and served. Let's 
see if we'll get a nice scoop of potatoes. There we go. That's a pretty slice of meatloaf. Check it out. All right, John, you ready to come in for a taste? Yeah. I got you a fork. Cool, thanks. It does smell fantastic. I love meatloaf. Um, comment down below. Are you a meatloaf sandwich lover? Oh. Cold meatloaf the next day, white bread, slathered in mayo. Yeah, buddy. Hi, Jim. What's up? Hi. All right, no, I got the mashed nobody potatoes. Nobody can see me. Nope. You're underneath. Mm -hmm. There you go. They can see you. Look at the steam coming off. But I want them to see you when I'm blowing. Oh, because you're a fireman today. Jump up. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> they can't see me. She does a killer meatloaf. It's the first time you've ever done one in the Instant Pot, though. This is. Same with the mashed potatoes. I mm. love that you're making two parts of your dinner all at once. It's right. so much easier. Just a veg and you're set. Like, that's yep. it. That was super easy. You weren't in here that long. Didn't take you all night. Excuse me. <laughs> what now? Oh, you're going to join us? You're going to have a bite? You do like meatloaf, too, don't you, dude? He does. All right, come up. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Like... One day I don't like it, one day I like it. Okay, let me help you. Here I like it with ketchup too. Yeah, we'll get ketchup on it in a bit. A little bit hot right now, but not bad, huh? Oh, are you breathing fire? Good thing you're a fireman. <laughs> yeah, this is excellent, guys. This would be a great recipe to break in that Instant Pot. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Really simple. Almost fail proof, really. I, I don't know how you could go wrong with this. You still chewing? Look how tall you got. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Catch Thanks. you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See ya.